actually moral? Again, I can only do Christianity this evening. Is it moral to believe that your sins, yours and mine, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, can be forgiven by the punishment of another person? Is it ethical to believe that? I would submit that the doctrine of vicarious redemption by human sacrifice is utterly immoral. Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. In this video we will answer an atheist. This time it's not Abdul, it's an, it's an atheist Abdul. Because at the end of the day, I believe all of them they are slaves. Uh, Muslims are slaves of Allah and atheists are slaves of their selfishness because atheism is based on being selfish which really can destroy the society and we need to know that there is many businessmen they sponsor atheism in purpose because atheism can change the economy shape many people don't think about it why uh, why many media uh, sponsor atheism they think it's just because they like the idea and maybe they are atheists well, yes they are atheists but there is a there is an economy uh, outcome money money is everything for those people don't think it's about god when you sponsor atheism the sex industry will grow casinos will grow night club will grow the, the, the whole the whole town will became a las vegas town like las vegas is not a city of christians right this is a city of the atheist this is the city of everyone who want to commit sin this is the city of sin actually it's named the city of sin so atheism can change the shape of a country can make the country, the whole country, easy to be destroyed, to be just the slaves of economy and businessmen. You know, in China, which is a, the biggest atheist country in the earth, I met many Chinese, and you should see how sad their life is. Atheism, they are the one who speak, or atheists, they are the one who speak about a human sacrifice, when the fact they are the one who practice a human sacrifice. Not us. In China, people are forced to abortion because you can have only one baby. Actually, most of the surgery, when a woman, she gave birth for her first baby, they take off her womb. So she will never be able to get a breath again. That is a human sacrifice, you idiot. You sacrifice a human for the sake of money. And the reason for them to do that, they say, well, if the population increase, then we have uh, we will lose money and the economy will not do good. So we sacrifice your kids, huh? In just for the sake of money. You are the one who practice a human sacrifice. We don't. You are the one, the most ugly creature ever who practice such a thing. Not us. Stalin in Russia, he killed tens of millions of people just because they don't agree with him. He was an atheist. So don't talk about a human sacrifice. For the sake of building a bridge or a dam, they used to sacrifice a lot of people and the leader, he stay in his palace drinking his vodka. That is the human sacrifice, you idiot. I never saw a communist country don't sacrifice millions with no shame. Those are the atheists. And then they come to us and they speak about what? Christ, 2,000 years ago, he gave his life for us and that is a human sacrifice. But the, the millions of people, they, they, they got killed by the name of communist and atheist until today. How many, how many, how many million babies they are dying every year in China because of the communist? You know, there is a... a there's a there's a picture. Everybody carry carry his picture because they are stupid. Uh, what his name? Jevara, the stupid idiot Jevara. Let me see his picture just to show. Yeah, this guy. Do you know who's this guy? This guy is an official criminal who used to burn people alive. People they run to the church. He locked the church on them and he burned them inside the church alive. Women, children, kids, men, old, young. It doesn't matter. Yet, you stupid fool in the West, you carry his picture, you put it in a school, you put it in your t-shirt because you are a stupid, dumb, crazy man. And yet, Christianity is the one who practices a human sacrifice. When this person, he burned people alive, he was practicing what? What do you name it? Barbecue alive? But yet, Christianity is the religion who teaches human sacrifice. Let me show you that you are an idiot with a profession, 
which means you have a degrees of being an idiot. There's a story in the Bible about God asked Abraham to sacrifice his son. Uh oh, that's it. Human sacrifice, it's there. Uh, just wait, Abdul. Just wait, a stupid idiot, uh, potato atheist. You will see in the same story that God did not let that happen. That was God action. He will never approve such a thing. He asked him to do to see how much his obedience, but he never let him sacrifice his son. God himself, he gave a sheep. A sheep, not a human. So since Abraham, God himself, he taught us that there is no human sacrifice. You do not practice a human sacrifice. Human sacrifice is not of me. And since Abraham story, and even in Abraham's story, no human person was killed, as we know, until now, none of the Christians or those who follow Abraham, they believe in a human sacrifice. So it's nothing but a fabrication. And let us explain for the atheist, the stupid atheist, what Jesus did. He just said, is it, is it really moral that someone he do sin and someone else pay for his sin? You do a fault and someone else pay for your fault? That's not moral. Let me explain to you, uh, 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 Mr. Uh, Christopher, the idiot. You play with matches at your home. Then a fire started. Is it moral to call the fireman to save you from the fire when it's your fault? Is it moral that this man, he will jump inside the fire to save you, you stupid idiot who play with the matches? Is that moral? According to you, no. According to you, this is a stupid behavior and ugly. The fireman should not do that. You stupid, this guy is a hero. For you, he is immoral. What is the immoral part here? He saved your life. Oh, he should not do that. It's my fault. It's my sin. I am the stupid idiot who did play with the matches. When we speak about the human crucifying, we are not speaking about sacrificing. Because simply Jesus was not crucified as a practice of a, a human sacrifice. This is a Roman punishment penalty for anyone who will be considered as a criminal, you idiot. It was not a practice of a human sacrifice. They did not pray in front of God and start doing dancing, blah, 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 God be happy. No. That was a penalty and a punishment, not a human sacrifice, dummy. For the Christians, it was the Lord giving himself for us what does it mean the Lord, he called the Jews and the Romans says, hey, pick me up, kill me. It's not him who said to them, go and execute me. The Messiah, he know about what they will do, but because he is a hero, not a coward like you, he did not run away. Which means he decided to show how much he loved us, even though it's going to cost him his life between us. However, Jesus as Lord, Life and death mean nothing for him at the end because here we go. He resurrected himself over the death. He beat the death and he's alive. And he came to the people who the same who were witnessing him in his uh, crucifixion. So the story of a crucifixion had nothing to do with the human uh, 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 sacrifice. Actually, if you go to the Bible, you will find the answer there very easy and very clear. If you go to John, all right, if you go to John 10, and then you, you start reading all the way to uh, uh, John 11, you will see Jesus, he said, I am the good shepherd, and the good shepherd give himself, give his life for the sheep. So what the good shepherd do? He give his life. So he give it willingly, and it's not a practice of sacrifice. He did not give it to God. He did give it to us. He did not give his 
life to God because he is the divine God for us. So it's very stupid of you to say that Christians, they believe in the human sacrifice for God because you forgot you eat it that Jesus for the Christian himself, he is Lord. So in Christianity, actually, it's the opposite from all the pagan believe because pagans, they believe that the human sacrifice themselves to God, Christianity is the opposite. God, he sacrificed himself for us. That's how stupid fool you are. Same time, you will see that Jesus, with his wisdom, amazing wisdom, he described himself as a shepherd. What does that mean? What does that mean? It means he is not doing it as a sacrifice for nothing. He is just doing it for protection. He protect you. He give you protection against the wolves. So there is wolves, there is shepherd, there is sheep. There's a three things here. The wolves is the one who want to deceive you, like the atheists or the or, or, or the Muslims. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. And the shepherd is the Messiah. So he is not doing it for practice making of making God happy. Someone will say, well, isn't it the father? He wanted the Messiah uh, to be uh, crucified. Uh, the fact, uh, if, if you think about, about what, what Jesus did and what happened, God, he knows the future. This is why he is the almighty. And he tell us from the beginning, even in, if you go to Genesis 5, you will see even the names in Genesis, they practice that. They show us that a man who was appointed, he will come down to earth and his teaching and his death will bring us comfort. So it was the plan which is known by God, which, which means which mean he knows all the sin, the stages of sin a human being they will do. And he planned to send his son to save us. But it's not a plan to sacrifice his son to make himself happy. The plan is that he sent his son to do whatever he need to do. And if the human, they decide to kill him, still he is willing to go to the end of the way and give salvation for those who deserve it. But it is not God who wanted really uh, you to kill Jesus. It's you who wanted Jesus to be killed. It is your plan. It's your decision. It is your uh, 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 sin. Someone might say to you, okay, well, you know, are you saying the sin of a human being will be forgiven by making a big sin, by killing Jesus? Well, you are doing sin anyway. And that is one of them. The idea is that by accepting the Messiah, you know, don't take the Messiah only as a crucifixion. The Messiah is not just a cross. The cross is the end, which is the start. So the crucifixion was one of the things Jesus did. Why you don't why you don't focus on everything Jesus did? You want to understand Jesus, you take everything he did, not only the crucifixion. So the shepherd, he protect you. He give his life to protect the sheep. But he don't protect you to give his life to the God. No. He gave his life to protect you. When we say by the blood of Jesus, we are talking about that by his extreme love, it's not the crucifixion itself, it's not, it's not the, the, the execution itself, it is the extreme love of Jesus. By that, by the grace of that, we are forgiven. However, the Lord, he said, in order to be forgiven, you have to forgive to others. This is what it's called, the prayer of our Father out of heaven. Forgive to us the same we forgive to others. So it is a conditions of this forgiveness. You forgive to others, so I can forgive to you. So you accept Jesus, all of him together, and have nothing to do with the human sacrifice. And uh, no one sacrifice himself to God. Actually, God, he sacrifice himself to us. I hope you understand and you learn. God bless you and thank you very much.